you're going to be working with something that is called geospatial awareness. And it sounds like kind of a long word, and what does it all mean? The geo part just talks about, ge just means like geometry shapes, and the spatial is being able to visualize where those shapes are at. Uh, and through a variety of different uh, kind of building activities, um, you're going to gain a better geospatial sense. Anyway, that's my hope. While you're doing this geospatial geospa work, <laughs> you're going to see a lot of things that look like this. Okay? Um, what this unit is kind of going to do is it's going to kind of take pictures of um, buildings and Right now, what we have on the screen is a base plan, what they will call, of the building. And basically what a base plan is, it's a flattened out building, uh, and we've got the front of the building, the back, the right, and the left. The numbers inside each part of the building mean how many blocks high the building is. Okay. So right now, uh, without having the blocks on there, now this part of the building would be three blocks high. These and this one would both be one, and this would be two. This is the part where they would call the base plan. From the base plan, uh, they're going to move to some different views. Okay, they're going to give you the front view, the right view, the back view, and the left view. So we're going to take the exact same base plan here, and we're going to look what each one of these views is going to look like. Uh, again, over here we have our picture of that same base plan. What I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to stack uh, the correct amount of cubes on each spot and we're going to look at it at the different views and see what it would look like. We're going to look at it from a front, uh, back, a left, and a right. So I know when I use these stacks, and you can use these blocks, it's fine if it's hard for you to visualize, I'm going to stack the blocks on here. Okay. So I know that, and I can kind of tilt it sideways so you can see, but I know that one block goes back here. Uh, I know that I've got two blocks here. I've got another one. I've got another one. I kind of spaced out a little bit, but that's okay. And then that last one, I had a three. I'm just going to put three blocks on there. So now we're going to look at the different views. So we're going to start with a front view. Right now you're seeing a front view of this. okay? And basically all you can see with these different side views, front, back, left, and right, is just how many tall it is. So all you can really see here is it is three tall. All you can see here is that it's one tall, and all you can see is it is two tall here. Okay. So when we go to draw our front view, it's just going to be a flat front view, uh, and I'll take these off and show you. Remember it was 3, 1, and 2. So if I look at our front view here, this is what we're actually seeing on our front view. 3, 1, 2. All right, I built our building up again here. I'm just kind of tilting it down where it hopefully doesn't fall so you can see and remember what we had two here. We had one, one, three, and then that purple one in the back. Okay. Remember when we did the front view, it was three, one, two. Now we're going to reverse it and we're going to do the back view. So I'm just going to turn this around like so. Now if you looked at it straight on from a back view, it looks exactly opposite. So when you would draw your picture of a back view, it would now be 2, 1, and then this one is, you're seeing 3 blocks tall, 2, 1, 3. So if I get rid of these and show you what the actual picture looks like, our back view would be 2, 1, 3. That is what we are seeing straight on when we look at the back. All right, I've got the same building. And again, this was the front view, 3, 1, 2, and then we turned it around. We had the back view of 2, 1, 3. Now we're going to do a right view. So I'm going to turn it back to the beginning, and this would be what you would be looking at if you were looking at it from the right. And what are you seeing? You're seeing 1, 3, 1. One high here, 
three high here. I know this front column has two in it, but that back one is higher, so you're actually seeing three, and then you're seeing one here. So if you're gonna draw the picture of that, it should look one, three, one. So if we look at what a picture of the right view would actually be, it would look something like this, one, three, one. All right, I got it back, Ooh, there we go. I got it back at the beginning now, I got it back at the front. The last view we have is the left view. Okay, so the left view is gonna be looking at it from this way, so I'll turn it so you can see the left view, okay? Now, if you notice, the left view looks exactly the same as the right view on this one. We would say it was symmetrical. We still have one, three, one. So if we look at a picture of a left view, or maybe I can tilt it without taking the blocks off. I think I can, there we go. We would have one, three, one. So basically what I've showed you there is I've showed you that base plan that has the numbers on it that show how many blocks high it is, and I've showed you all three views, what you would look at if you were going straight on. Now, the last view that I want to show you is going to be the top view. Now, the top view is very easy, but it's a little different than the side views. The top view, you're just going from the basic outline of what you're seeing. If I look at this from the very top, it's going to look exactly like if you were looking at it from an airplane or something like that, it's going to look exactly the same as the base plan, but without the numbers in it. So we're just going to be able to see, if I looked at this from the top, which is going to be kind of hard without these blocks falling off, uh, but basically what it would look like from the top is just this. If you look down on this, it's going to look exactly the same as this, but you don't, wouldn't be able to see any depth to it. You wouldn't be able to see that there's three blocks here and one block here and two blocks here because you're looking straight down on it, so all you would just see was the top of it. All right, this will be good practice for you here. Uh, what I want you to do is I want you to build this base plan with some actual blocks. Okay, I'd like to see you actually build the base plane with the blocks. Uh, on some paper or on a whiteboard or on something, um, after you've built the blocks, I want you to come up with what the front view, the back view, the right view, the left view, and the top view. Continue this video when you are done building and finding the views just to see how you did. All right, here's the front view of our picture. And as you can see, uh, we've got two, one, six, one, one. So your drawing for the front view should look like this, two, one, six, one, one. Here is the back view. I just turned it around to the back side. And now on the back side, we have one tall, one tall, six tall, one tall, and two tall. So your picture should look something like this. Uh, if you're kind of noticing a pattern here, the front and the back views will also will always be the mirror image of each other or the reflection of each other. So that's something to keep in mind. Same thing with the right and the left. All right, right now we're looking at the right view. And the right view would just be one tall. This one's going to be three tall. This one's going to be six tall, and this one's going to be five tall. Uh, so your right view should actually look like this one. One, three, six, five. Now, I'm not even going to flip this around because I already know that the other side is the mirror image or the opposite of it. I mean, I hope you did it when you worked through this with the blocks, but it's going to be backwards. So I just wrote the left one up there, and as you can see, it's the opposite. The one that was over here, when you rotate it around, is now going to be over here. The three is over here, the six is over here, and the five is now on the end here. All right, at this point I probably need to invest in a camera, but um, we're trying here. Holding this upside down, hopefully this works. Um, if you see the top view is what I'm trying to get you to look at, and it's not really how tall the building is, it's just the pattern of the blocks. And the pattern of the blocks is just like the base plan without the numbers in it. So this one just kind of goes in a snake. It goes from here to here to here like that. 
So if we were to actually look at a top view, and I turn this back around to the front, a top view is going to look like this. It's going to look just like the base plan, except we don't have the numbers in for how tall the blocks are. 